Hello, this is Tom Zeppefeld from Graphilion. Uh, today's video is about our new product, Graphilion Personal Edition. This is our first standalone graphy application builder and graph manager. We uh, launched, we released the beta yesterday and it's available for uh, Windows, for Mac OS and for Linux. The reason why we launched it uh, because uh, we got a lot of questions from sandbox users or from our uh, the users of our uh, community edition uh, for better functionality, uh, more ease of use, and easy installation, uh, and also from uh, more the business users, we got uh, questions about how to easily separate your business data from your uh, Graphilion functions because Graphilion functions, which make up the application, are also in a graph. Remember, our, uh, one of our key phrases that we use is that your application is a graph too. What I'm going to show you today is uh, how you install it once you have downloaded it, and uh, then link uh, two stores to it. Uh, one store for the Graphilion nodes and the other one for your uh, business data. Um, Normally, when you have uh, downloaded it, uh, you can go to the download personal edition menu of our um, uh, on our website, and then you get uh, you can leave your information. You get an email, confirm, and then you are redirected to um, to the page over here. Well, of course, I downloaded it already. It's about uh, 75, uh, 75 uh, a gig, but once you have uh, downloaded it, you have your Mac install files over here. So now I'm going to run it. Okay, uh, it's there. If I have an application, I can go to the Filion app. Okay, now this is my uh, my uh, settings uh, screen. I'm automatically uh, directed to that. Uh, before before going uh, in there, um, I'd like to show the stores that I'm uh, gonna connect to. Here I have on my GrapheneDB, uh, I have a remote store. So in the cloud, uh, you could uh, this for this example. I use GrapheneDB, but of course. There are other, there's Graph Story, there is uh, uh, Neo4j hosted, so there are a number of providers of, um, uh, of Neo4j uh, cloud services. And I have on my local machine, I have my Neo4j uh, desktop with one local store and with uh, that doesn't contain anything yet. So when I'm going uh, to, uh, to install it, uh, I have my what I what we call the application store. That's where the node, the Graphilion nodes are. I have to grant uh, access to uh, to allow to uh, Neo4j uh, Graphilion to install it, and I have my test my uh, password from uh, my uh, Neo4j uh, store in the desktop. I test the connection. Okay, that's fine, and I'm going to create one user. My name is Tom, and I have my password. Of course, my first user has admin rights, and then I apply my settings, and I can log on. Okay. Uh, as soon as I uh, uh, I see this, I know that uh, that um, uh, Graphilion has been installed correctly in my uh, local store. To show you that, okay. I can have match and return end, so it's no longer empty. Here I have my different um, uh, Graphilion nodes. So I have my dashboard uh, delete uh, delete relationship functions. I have my HTML views. I have my Neo4j queries, and I have a number of other nodes, especially like tables or uh, or network view that are uh, crucial for. Um, uh, for Graphilion. So now this is uh, I have I have uh, one store over here. Uh, I can run my queries against this store. Uh, I can 
I can request the user, which is me, and which has been uh, automatically connected to my default dashboard. And from there, I can navigate my, uh, my Graphy application. But that was just the Graphilion store. So what I'm doing, uh, what I'm going to do now is to link a second store to it. So uh, for that, I need my, let's say this is my uh, graphene, graphene store. And I have to link it to my uh, graphene store. So I need my uh, graphene credentials, which I have over here. And the port is 247. It's six, and I have created on that uh, graphene store. I have created uh, created a user with a password. And let's check if we can connect. Yes, we can connect. I save it. So, and now I have I have two stores over here. So I have my application store, but also I can access my graphene store. So this is, uh, let's make it bigger. Uh, now I have, um, uh, I can do everything I, uh, I need on my two stores. Um, I should not have done that because now I cannot see them anymore. Okay. Um, what about, what are the limitations of, uh, of uh, personal edition? Um, well, you can check uh, your license. You have now a personal edition uh, uh, license. And that one allows one user, one dashboard, uh, 64 graphilions, which are uh, nodes that have the label IA user or IA function or um, IA dashboard. Uh, and I can connect two stores of which one is the application store. Um, through Graphilion, through this Graphilion interface, you cannot create more users or dashboards. But even if you create users and dashboards directly on your uh, on your application store, uh, for instance, uh, using the uh, Neo4j desktop uh, uh, browser, uh, it will be detected, and you get all kinds of uh, messages because it was not um, what you signed up for. Uh, what you signed up for is available here in your license agreement and. This link will uh, lead you to a page where we announce future licenses, uh, bigger licenses that have unlimited users or unlimited, uh, um, uh, even unlimited dashboards, etc. But most of the, uh, the licenses will be limited by the number of what we call graphilions, which are, again, users or dashboards or, um, or functions. Um, from here, from the menu, you also have access to our online documentation and the release notes. Um, for the rest, the functionality is, uh, is uh, more or less uh, the same, but a lot better than, uh, than in our community edition. Um, let's start with something, uh, for instance, simple. I want to create a note. I can select in which store I want to create the note. Uh, but let's say I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do a test a test uh, node and I have my name E A so I create the node A I can co create node B and uh, on my Mac to create a relationship I select the source and I do command select the target and I can have my um, My properties uh, over here. Um, as you know, if we select a node or a relationship, we have my our key views here. Here's where you normally all the properties are displayed. Um, we can uh, remove a node from the view, and we can test here that we can uh, add neighbors to it. Um, we can also we have our still have our uh, node history which is the trail of all the nodes that I have visited. And uh, for instance, if I would create a new network view and I can select a node from the node history, then I can load it 
into this uh, into this uh, this network view, and with this function, I can still always uh, let's say a controlled exploration of uh, what I have in my um, in my store. So this is basically uh, uh, the same as uh, as for a uh, community edition uh, that we had earlier, uh, but only uh, only a lot better. Uh, also, we have additional buttons here to uh, to select a node, to uh, to add a new node. Uh, we have functions to, if we have selected uh, a number of nodes, that you can. Uh, wait, sorry. Uh, that you can move the selection, uh, you can remove the selection uh, of the nodes, but also um, you can move the selection nodes from view, or you can um, send the selection that I have, I can add it to, select it to a new view. So this kind of functionality has been improved and it's, uh, it's easier to use. Um, well, this was it for uh, for now. Um, thank you for watching, and uh, we expect a lot of uh, hopefully positive feedback on this uh, beta version. Uh, if you uh, run into um, uh, run into issues, we have our issues at graffinion.com email address where you can post them. If you have questions, don't hesitate to uh, to contact us. Well, thank you for now, and um, have a nice day.